Hey guys, welcome back to EU4 as Manchu, and I've been going forward uh, off camera because, well, we basically just had to wait for, um, well, for enough Diplo points to accumulate so we can tech, uh, take two technologies. So I increased my diplomatic technology from uh, level 5 to 7, and that gave us more uh, colonial range. And then I also decided to fire one of our advisors that we had here. Yeah, I just, you know. Uh, retired him and I was able to get a colonial range dude so now we can colonize well quite far we can actually colonize as far as we can see which is pretty cool so um, let me have a quick look at the colonial range I can I'm currently sending my colonists to colonize this province right here and I have my um, explorer out to explore some more of the the sea and I guess the coastline as well so this is very interesting now what I could also do now is actually go ahead and, de and declare war against uh, these three nations and I would be able to core their provinces. Now the only problem with this is obviously that um, I I don't actually have a war um, I don't have a war, a casus belli, that's what it's called. I don't have a casus belli, actually, which is kind of sad. So we would actually have to go all the way. Uh, we should have to go exploration all the way in order to be able to declare the war. And that I don't really want to do since I, well, just spend all my diplomatic power. Um, but in any case, that's not that big of a deal. Um, I will simply... Um, I will simply build that colony, we'll be able to fabricate something. In the meantime, obviously as you can see, our horde unity is rather low, so uh, two years from now, we need to declare the war, and luckily, Usegi is no longer allied to Japan, so we'll be able to declare war on them soon enough, and we should. I've already been actually fabricating, but it seems as though we have been kicked out. But in, the, in any case, we're going to be able to get a claim here, and I think I'm going to go with probably... Um, you know what? We're gonna go with Hitachi. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna get a claim here so I can declare war. And that's what I want to do. I want to declare war uh, pretty soon. The only problem we have is that we have, we're have we facing some rebellions. So I would like uh, you know, for these rebellions to go away first and then declare the war. But we have full manpower and uh, I've been building some forces as well. So it shouldn't be all that difficult. Um, I could go for uh, the Renas Renaissance thought, but I'm gonna wait a little bit. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that was pretty much it. We have Usegi as a rival, by the way. So um, it's going to be very good for us to take them over. I'm just a little bit worried because they have 16 ships. Um, and we do not. I'm currently building some uh, transports. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so we might finally have this castle. But I do want to wait before I declare the war. I, I, I don't know. You know, the, the, I just want to wait as long as I can, really. Um, our power projection obviously counters our Hort Unity. Uh, drop, which is good, um, and I have 4,000 men currently making their way over to our transport ships here, because I was actually thinking I could simply declare war on the primitives, but I can't without losing stability, so yeah, I guess this is not really an option. Uh, we can go probably a little bit faster still. I just wanted to come back to show you guys what has been going on. Um, so do I declare the war now? Do I? They have a... Uh, Oh wow, they're already at military attack 7. Um, I wonder how many troops Usegi actually has. I did check their navies, um, but let's also check their army. They must be here somewhere. Um, did I already miss them? Oh, there they are. So they have... Oh wow, they have 9,000 men. Now, they have a lot of manpower, but I have more. And they have 9,000 men. So we should definitely be able to deal with it. But as I said, I would like to deal with these rebels first. Uh, that's basically the only thing that's stopping me at the moment. Um, okay, so our ships are being built. We are making some money, um, but that's because our colonist hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, so as soon as the colonist, uh, colonist arrives, uh, that's going to cost quite a bit. But he's going to take another year until he arrives. Um, I would rather, obviously, go ahead and just call this stuff. So basically what I'm going to do, most likely, I will... Um, no, let me quickly show this. I will probably just establish this, build a spy network so that I can fabricate on these guys, and then I will just declare war and abandon the colony. That's probably what I'm going to do, simply because uh, that seems like the best idea. Because uh, once we have then cored this stuff, we can, you know, colonize way further down south, right? Probably here. We are almost going to be in Mexico, I think. So, yeah, uh, there's no need to, to spend more money on that. Okay, so... Uh, we have now had this this enemy uh, enemy rise up steps. Okay, we have a better general. It seems like yeah. Okay, we definitely do. 
Um, but if we attack here, there's no... Okay, there's not going to be any repercussions, so that's fine. We're just going to go for it. I could probably go ahead and prove some more relations with Ming. Let's do that really quickly. Yeah, there we go. But Ming, uh, you know, they they have never failed. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, I, I have to make them fail. I mean, I know that. But obviously, that's... It, it's, it's, hard, it's easier to say that than to actually do it. And it looks as though we're losing this battle. I don't find that particularly interesting. Uh, well, interesting maybe, but not funny. Rolling a 6, we have a 7, a 0, we both. Uh, 0 versus 9, always good. Um, but yeah, okay, we did turn around. Holy shit, that, that, that was actually quite devastating. In any case, we've destroyed one of these. Now we have guys, where is that province? Ihuri. That is probably over here. So this is this one. I see. And then where's the, the Kalka Separatists? Are those those? And Dornogovi. Yeah, okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. There's not much I can do. I wonder if I park my troops here. I don't think that's gonna be enough at all. Yeah, so let's just go ahead, get our ships together. Not seven navies. Let's get them here and probably get my troops over here. I mean, you know what? Yeah, we'll just do it. We'll just do it. We'll, we'll see what we can do against Usegi. I'm pretty sure that we'll be able to defend. Uh, well, not defend, but defeat them. Yeah. Uh, our colony is going to arrive at some point. Now, I wonder if I can then get rid of our colonial range dude. Because he obviously costs quite a lot of money uh, that I don't really have. But I suppose I'm going to keep him un until we have actually fully established our claims on these on these th uh, three smaller nations here. So that I can then go ahead, core it, and then we can proceed to do any uh, anything else. Um, okay. So, our ships have arrived. Let's, no, not dismiss them, but let's actually merge them, and, well, um, Usagi definitely has a bigger fleet than me, that's, that's for sure. Um, we have our, these three ships doing whatever, okay, you're still on your mission, it appears like, um, so, huh, I definitely don't want to lose my troops, obviously, that would be, that'd be kind of stupid. I guess what we can do is um, give me the mercenaries, those are five, and then maybe maybe a horse. There you go. And you, you get the good general, yes. I think that's how we're going to do it. A growth of tribal influence, okay, they have more influence, that's fine I suppose. Um, yeah, basically the idea is we're going to take over Usegi, and then we're going to uh, smash Japan. Uh, the best thing about this is obviously the fact that once I have taken this, it doesn't matter what kind of navy the Japanese have. We'll be able to just crush him. Basically, I want to take over all of these provinces, well, as many, uh, I want to take over as many provinces from Usegi as possible. Basically, it would be cool if I could cut them off so that Japan doesn't get anything, but that seems... Yeah, that's impossible. Um, but yeah, that was the plan. Anyway, so I will take as many problems as I can, uh, raise them, and then release vassals. Because we don't really have any alliances at all, so we have enough um, yeah, diplomatic relations. I could release three vassals. And once we have that, we're going to feed them Japan, uh, Japanese lands, and that's, that's going to be good. At least that's the plan, in theory. Okay, so you guys are moving up there, uh, slowly but surely. Once you have, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll declare the war. Yeah, it's about time. It, the whole unity shall not drop below uh, 50. That would be that would be rather terrible. And these rebels are obviously also kind of annoying, you could imagine. Um, yeah, I'm not going to convert anything. It's just going too slow anyway. And you guys, uh, you got to move. Yeah, we're going to maybe go a little bit faster here. Okay, so you have arrived. Let's get a 10k troops on board. And I think it's time to declare the war. The war against Usagi. We have been kicked out, so there's no more fabricating. I want to conquer Itachi. And there we go. So, um, I think let's just go ahead and drop our troops off right here. I don't think we're going to get stopped. I doubt it. I really doubt that we're going to get stopped. I just hope that... Oh, wow. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Maybe they, they are going to stop us. They have quite a huge navy here. They're going to arrive in the Tsuraga Strait. Yeah, that's where I want to go to. Well, we'll see. We'll see what they do. We definitely need to keep a close eye on that. Um, maybe slow down a little bit. 
just because I want to see what's going on. I could actually... I probably won't get access. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, that's because... Yeah, we're rival and because they hate our guts. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Let's just see. I mean, they, they might attack us here. Mm, they're gonna go into the Tokai Sea. So I doubt it, actually. We might make it. We might make it. So we'll see. We'll try. Those are mostly... They have galleys. Let's, let's land our troops. Hopefully we can do that fast enough. So they're gonna go here. Then they're gonna have to go back and over here. So I don't think they will be able to catch us. Um, and since I believe they only have about 9,000 men, they shouldn't really bother us. Their army shouldn't really be a threat, even though they have better military technology. I might actually be able to get that... No, I won't be able to get the technology just yet. Alright, fine. Still though, I think um, people should be able to land in time, improve relations with Ming, and uh, tribal conquest against the Salish. So I don't actually have to do... Ooh, now that is interesting. So we have a tribal conquest against these guys, which is cool because they are in a federation. They're allied to Haida. I don't know where that is. They're in the federation with Haida. Oh, this is Haida right there. Yeah, so um, if I declare one them, I will be at war with them as well. But because their military tech is three, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to crush them. Don't know. Might be overestimating myself here, but uh, I think pretty much. So, once we've landed, man, this is actually taking a long-ass time. There we go. So now, let's go over here, pick up some more troops, send them over here. We might actually get caught? I don't think so, I hope not. Uh, that would obviously suck quite a bit, if we get caught now. Actually, I might wanna... I might wanna run away. Not sure if we can. Oh, we're gonna get attacked, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, that I did not want. I totally wanted, did not want this to happen. Retreat, retreat. Retreat without... Before we lose a ship. Oh, we already did. Come on! Fucking hell, man. Holy shit. Just fucking retreat, dude. Okay, so they are... They are bringing troops to Etchu. Can I get there? I cannot. Alright, well, in this case, we'll have you there. You here. Um, and then you will go here. You're gonna go to Echigo. Actually, I'm gonna send you to Itachi. There you go. I doubt that they will be... Okay, they're actually... They have cannons. I totally forgot about that, actually. And it seems like we will attack them. Not cool. I thought they didn't have that many men. Maybe I was wrong? I don't know where their troops are landing, but they're definitely blockading my people here now. That sucks. And that obviously sucks quite a bit. But if I can destroy some of... The oh, wow. I just completely annihilated their forces. Good. But we need to make sure that... Uh, well, those are farmlands. We need to make sure that we get our troops together. Uh, otherwise, this is going to be problematic for us. I don't know where they're going. Actually, go. Farmlands. 8,000 men. I think we're probably able... We're probably able to destroy them. Uh, let's go here. They're going to arrive on the 2nd of June. I'll be there on the 1st. Good. Okay, so we'll be there the fir a little bit earlier. Get our troops together. Wait for these 2,000 men to arrive. We should win. I think we will win this indeed. Yeah. Okay, we do have a 20% shock damage. Uh, well, disadvantage. Uh, but we're winning still. It's close, actually. But nonetheless, I think we are winning. Good, 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 good. Crush him, crush him, come on. Yes, so let's have a quick look at their manpower situation. Usegi has 16,000... Oh my god. Okay, they have tons of manpower left. Um, basically, I need to get rid of this. This is the menace that, that annoys me. Because now I cannot send any more reinforcements. We basically just have this. <sighs> Alright. Well, you go here. Yeah, let's just go there. Problem is I cannot really do anything else. Damn it. Do we have enough points now for the next technology? We do not. Can I actually build mercenaries? I can. Lovely. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll build two, three mercenaries here. Uh, simple because I want to get the upper hand here, obviously. 
Okay, good. So you're gonna stay there, besiege that. Actually, no, 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 no. I want to besiege this as well. Because the more provinces are under my control, the less money for them and the less opportunities for them to build uh, some more units. To recruit some more units. So yeah, we're going to take the capital. And I don't think Japan is actually going to, you know, bother us. It, that would be rather strange, actually. Oh, oh there we are. There, there they go. Um, leave some people here and we're going to attack as well. Just want to destroy them. Just want to destroy them. Nice. Okay, another one of their forces gone. And it's a whole also, you know, it's obviously a lot of money that they're losing as well. Yeah. They have 6,000 men. They're building mercenaries as well. Okay. Yeah, we should have this under control. And meanwhile, I mean, they're still they're still building tons of troops back there, uh, which is obviously kind of annoying. But meanwhile, we're just looting stuff, and that's obviously very good for us. Good, so I think we have this under control. Obviously, I mean, actually, having these these people here isn't really all that bad. Um, you know, simply because we're going to have to fight rebels anyway. And they have just risen up in Dornogovi. So I wonder how many people it's going to be. 7,000. And they do not have a leader. So yeah, these 12,000 men should be capable of defeating them. Probably. Okay, good. So yeah, in, in that regard, it's not actually that bad that I have some troops left at home. Awesome. Now that I have my colony there, I probably should go ahead and... Yeah, fabricate on you. Fabricate on you. There you go, build spy network. Build the spy network. And I wonder if I should get rid of this. Probably not. I guess we'll keep it for... Although... That is quite a drain to my income. Hmm. I will see. We'll, we'll decide on that. Okay, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to fend here, even though I'd rather obviously fight in, in the farmlands. Uh, he's going to come at me at some point. I mean, how many how many men does he have? How many men does Usagi have? 9,000 now. Ah, that's fine. We're just going to have to go ahead and... Uh... Oh, yep, they're, they're attacking. And they're attacking. Everyone just go here. Everyone just go there. So we're going to be in the farmlands, which means we should get a shock bonus, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. They have... We have more men. We have the better general. We rolled the 9, they rolled the 0. Yes. And they obviously have much better morale and better tactics as well. Uh, and they have cannons. But other than that, we are getting the shock damage increase because we're fighting in farmlands. So that's fine. Okay, Explorer is done. So can you go and explore some more things? That'd be, that'd be lovely, actually. Um, Explore. Yeah, we have only 12 ships. Uh, Southeast Pacific Coast. Arabian Coast. No, Southeast Pacific Coast. That's what I want. Yeah. Okay, and we're, we're winning this battle. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Still, we need to we need to take a fort. That's important. Alright, so they have lost some men. And... I guess I'm gonna... Nah. I want you to have the siege leader, obviously. Go here. And besiege it. Meanwhile, we have our men. Just It's actually basically just one horse. Looting some stuff. That's fine, though. Ooh. Actually, do I not have... Are those all mer Those are all mercenaries. Oh, okay. Uh, by the way, are you fighting? You have not yet... They're going to Kara... Kara Kurum. Well, that's not too cool. That's not too cool at all. Because that's in mountains. I didn't want to fight them in mountains. It's gonna hurt me, actually. Okay, a colonist has 15% chance of arriving. I mean, right now we're making money. I might as well keep... Here's the thing, I might as well... By the way, by the time this this war is over, I might actually not need to go to war with these three nations anymore because I will have finished my colony. So, I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, I wish I could destroy them. The problem is this fort. This fort is very well placed. Um, and our explorer has died. Is that correct? He has. So, my ships should come back. I think they are. They are actually coming back. Okay, good. 
We need to make sure that they are not attacking us. How many men do you have, Usagi? You have 5,000, but still 11,000 manpower. All right. Well, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to, before you attack again, that we'll be able to break through here. Um, but I'm going to go with the 10. I'm going to, I'm going to be cautious here. Yes. Alright, so I think uh, since this is the end of the episode, I will probably, uh, just so I don't forget, I will probably go for the Renaissance Thought. There you go. And um, we can go for a new idea group, and I want to go with Humanist, because that's going to give us more religious unity, and National Unrest is going to take down, so that is what I want to go for next. Um, so, actually, I would almost be able, well, definitely would be able to go for this. And very soon I will be able to go for this as well. I'm going to pick this. and Because when I pick the next one, we'll obviously have less national unless, uh, unrest. And then it's also going to cost much less to get uh, new technology. So this is very important. But anyway, as I said, this will be the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.